In this video, let's walk through the top 7 fears that we can use EFT tapping to release. These fears are common fears, but they can have a serious impact on our well-being and self-esteem if we don't address them. EFT tapping is an approach whereby we are using our fingertips to tap on specific meridian points on our face and body for releasing our fears while verbalizing the problem that we are facing. Let's explore what these fears are, how they impact our nervous system, and how we can apply EFT tapping to help. The first fear, the fear of failure. The fear of failure can stop us from achieving our goals. And it is often linked to the belief of not good enough or the fear of being judged if we become unsuccessful. Living with this fear constantly triggers our stress response, our fight or flight response in our nervous system, causing us to experience greater anxiety. Over time, this can lead to burnout and also missed opportunities. When we apply EFT tapping, we are working on calming the nervous system, releasing the emotional charge behind the fears, thus allowing us to move forward a lot more confidently. In a study with athletes, when EFT tapping was applied, it was found that the athletes were able to experience reduced performance anxiety and they were much better able to focus. Let's move on to the next fear, the fear of rejection. The fear of rejection can prevent us from putting ourselves out there in relationships or in our careers because we are so afraid of not being accepted. And this could also be about the fear of being unloved. The fear of rejection keeps our nervous system on high alert, constantly looking out for threats or signs of disapproval. The constant stress weakens our emotional resilience and erodes our self-esteem. When we apply EFT tapping, we are working on releasing these feelings, making it easier for us to connect with others with a lot less uh, resistance. Research has shown how EFT tapping can be helpful for people with social anxiety, making it easier to move through feelings of self-rejection and to foster a greater sense of self-acceptance. Let's move on to the next fear, the fear of success. We often sabotage ourselves with this fear because we fear that the pressure or the responsibilities that come with success. The fear of success creates self-sabotage. It creates a sense of inner conflict because there's a part of us that's wanting to be more successful and yet there's another part of us that's holding us back. Our nervous system feels overwhelmed by the future expectations. So when we apply EFT tapping, we are attempting to resolve the inner tension, giving us the mental clarity and the confidence to move forward and to embrace success. The next fear is the fear of change. The fear of change can hold us back from growth. And as we know, change is inevitable. It's a constant in life. Our nervous system tends to resist the unknown and uh, perceiving the unknown to be dangerous. So this keeps us in our comfort zone. Our resistances keeps us stuck in the same patterns, causing stress and also emotional fatigue. When we apply EFT tapping, we are soothing the anxiety, helping us to embrace change with greater ease and trust. In a workplace transition case study, EFT tapping was found to be helpful with helping employees to reduce, uh, to reduce anxiety when they are faced with uh, major changes and uh, they were able to improve their adaptability. Next, we have the fear of getting hurt or the fear of being unloved, whether from past emotional hurts 
or wounds or the fear of future emotional pain. This fear can keep us from opportunities or relationships. So we are not able to develop greater intimacy and connection with others. When we hold on to the fear of getting hurt, our nervous system uh, stays in a protective mode, limiting our ability to take emotional risks. So we start to build walls around ourselves, walls around our hearts, and that prevent us from developing a greater connection with others. By applying EFT tapping, we are working on releasing the fear of getting hurt, the fear of being unloved, giving us the freedom to open our hearts more freely and more easily and allowing us to live more fully. Next, the fear of being judged. Fear of judgment can make us overly self-conscious. We keep ourselves from expressing uh, more authentically. This fear activates our nervous system's stress response, uh, creates social anxiety, and also limits our interaction with others. When we apply EFT tapping, we are calming the fears and allowing us to be comfortable in our own skin. A study on public speaking anxiety found that after tapping, participants were able to experience significant reductions in their anxiety and their fear of being judged. Finally, we move on to the fear of not good enough. This is one of the most deeply ingrained fears that we have, and it is often linked to our inner child. The part of us that learned from an early age that we are somehow not good enough or imperfect. Whether it's from criticisms, past failures, or unmet expectations, this fear can undermine our self-confidence today and impact our ability to achieve our potential. Tapping for the inner child can heal the, the wounds by gently addressing the root belief of not being good enough. Through EFT tapping and specifically focus on inner child healing, we can start to reparent the younger part of ourselves with greater compassion and understanding. So this helps us to release the belief of not good enough and uh, we replace them with more positive beliefs that foster a greater sense of self-worth and confidence. So these are some of the common fears that hold us back. The great news is that EFT tapping is a tool that is effective for releasing them. By calming our nervous system and rewiring the emotional triggers behind the fears, we can apply EFT tapping to break free from the limitations uh, that they create. If you are needing to address these fears, I encourage you to try EFT tapping and to see how it can transform your emotional state and to build greater confidence and ease. If you're needing to tap through your fears, please subscribe to my channel for more videos on EFT tapping. Should you need further assistance with working through your personal fears uh, and issues, do reach out to me for assistance. I'll be posting the link for a discovery call together right along with this video. So click on the link and let's get on a chat together. Thank you for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like button, the thumbs up, and uh, see you in the next video. Much love and abundance always.